In the case, what's really going to happen is that these things are going to go dynamically up and down as we see. As we need more compute performance, the core steps up in frequency. As we demand a little bit less, the core would go down in frequency. Same for imaging, same for uh, GPU. And this, this all happens um, internally, uh, dynamically, because we have firmware that is measuring the power state and the compute demand across dozens of registers that are control points inside the SOC. And we have some, I'll call it tiny embedded control just for power management that's taking all those demands and optimizing them so you can get the absolute best out of the SOC and you can get back to a quiescent state uh, as quickly as possible. We have this concept overall called hurry up and get idle or huggy. And what you'd like to do is when there's a task, you'd like to fire off that task as, and at the highest performance possible, get the compute done and then bring the system back to idle. Because when you fire something up, it's not just the, the, the uh, SOC core, it's going to be the memory, it's going to be the display, it's going to be storage. Keeping those things alive costs battery life. Getting things done more quickly uh, by, by hitting these turbo modes actually saves you battery life in the, in the long run. And that may be a little bit counterintuitive when you say, say turbo helps you get things done faster, but when you look at all the metrics, it, it really does. Yeah.